my name is Ellie, I'm 13 and I was diagnosed with acute le lymphoblastic leukaemia on August last year. This is bed 7, it's a cubicle where some of the kids go when they've got isolation or there's no more rooms in the bays. Um, I was in here for about 6 weeks. Um, when I was a bit more intense um, and it's good because you've got a lot of space and there's lots of room for you and your family to um, sort of chat and um, talk about how you're being but it also does get a bit lonely because um, if you're in isolation not many hardly anyone can come in and see you so it gets very lonely. I'm Theo, I was, I'm 15. I was diagnosed with uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma uh, in April of this year and I've been at PM Brown since. Uh, I have uh, seven chemo treatments and all of my treatment has been chemotherapy and lumbar punctures in my spine. Uh, so this is bed 8 where I spent uh, the beginning of my treatment uh, in April. These bays are the best ones because you get your own bed, uh, you get a larger TV, you get your own toilet and you get uh, another spare bed for a parent to stay with you. This is for Bedded Bay, um, it's really good but there's not a lot of space in case you want your parents to sleep with you and um, the TVs, because they're all the same, if you try to change your TV it sometimes changes the other TV and all the speakers are at the back so you hear each other's TV um, and it can get a bit noisy especially if there are different age groups like babies and teenagers but other than that it's quite good. This is bed 9 and 10 which is also known as the teenager's room um, and this is probably my least favourite room in the whole ward because it's just it's quite cramped like you can you still have room for a parent but um, you have one long curtain across the middle and you have the same TV so whatever channel you change you change the person opposite you as well um, and you have a toilet out here and then a toilet in there um, which can also be a bit awkward and noisy in the middle of the night. Um, but yeah, it can be quite awkward if you're with someone who you don't particularly like in your war in the same ward as you, in the same bay as you. And um, yeah, but apart from that, it's okay. <laughs> this is B, anaesthetic room. And on here is where I have lumbar punctures, where they are. Um, inject quite a long needle into your spine, spinal fluid, and it hurts if you're not under general anaesthetic. But um, I've had a couple of these, and there's a long waiting list, and it's quite a small little room. And then after you've been put under, under general anaesthetic, you um, get injected, and then you get taken through into this room where you are in recovery, and then um, you wake up a bit groggy, and a painful back but yeah then it's done. So this is the nurse's station which is right next to the recovery and the outpatient stay ward and it's only covered up by a small little curtain so it can be quite awkward when the nurses are either talking about you and your treatment or you're talking about the nurses. It just seems a bit tight and close. Here we are in the day ward waiting area where um, we write our name on the board to let the nurses know that we're here. Um, it's very good here, it's got a lot of space but um, sometimes if the, because there will be a lot of people who um, come to see their consultants or some nurses and also um, sometimes the nurses don't really know you're here because they're all the way around there. Uh, this is the teenager's room, which also, in the weekdays, doubles up as the teacher's room, which doesn't have much of an attraction to all the teenagers who want to come in when the teachers are in, making you want, wanting to make you do work. Uh, 
Um, this is the playroom. It's mostly for younger kids, but it can be for anyone. But as there's a teenager's room, I don't spend a lot of time in here. But my younger brother comes in here a lot um, when he comes to see me, and he likes to mess it up. In the hospital, Daisy would like there to be princess rooms. So this is the parents' room, which is uh, probably one of the most useful parts in Pierre Brown. Um, so when the parents want to get away from the kids, or you want to, you want somewhere peaceful to go if you have family, friends, or um, relatives. But the problem is that um, when they're, when it's full, you have nowhere else to go, especially if you're in the bay and you have seven or eight people coming to see you, there isn't very much room. Also, if you've come in here, like if you're on day ward and you don't want to sit out in the clinic and you just want to relax and someone else is in here and watching TV, you sort of have to just stick with the channel that they're on. No, no. no I've got a book. 